Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in B2B selling techniques, we will discuss one of the key and important chapter, mastering B2B skills. What are the techniques that you can think of implementing to master the business to business skills and grow your company? We have listed a comprehensive package in this video that you will immensely like and it will be beneficial for you. Let's check them out. B2 business, first things first. Extensive research analysis of the market, competitors, customers, demography and geography. When you have a business and your business is related to selling services, solutions or products to another business, what you need to do first and foremost you point is extensive research and analysis of the market in terms of demography, in terms of geography, in terms of where are the companies available, what are those companies, what are the products that they want to buy, what are the services they want to take, who are their competitors, who are your competitors and what is the pricing structure that is going on in the market and what is the feasibility of your products extensive comprehensive and illustrative research of the market is the first and foremost point that you need to do and build an online asset and formulate niche marketing strategy centric to the product when you have a business what you need to do you need to build online assets when i talk about online assets you need to have a extensive elaborate complete website website that includes a list all the services solutions or products that you are selling and what is your market what are the benefit that you are offering what is the value that you are offering and what actually is the usp of your product of your business and these are the points that you need to include in your website if you have some specific product that you want to sell ideally it is a good thing to have a landing page for such products a exclusive landing page a blog an internal blog and an external blog a blog that is integrated on the website and perhaps some external blogs on the wordpress or tumblr a good social media presence in terms of facebook twitter linkedin stumble upon and dig and of course you if you want to do some adverts campaigns and adverts campaigns so these are all the online assets that you need to build so that the visibility of your business and of your products grows out there in the market leverage content organic paid marketing increase visibility drive conversions and you need to do a lot of search engine optimization and search engine marketing both organic and paid advertising so that the visibility increases the organic marketing takes a lot of time in terms of visibility across search engines but if you want some immediate gains so that the impressions happen and actually a visibility increases out there in the market you can think of doing some paid campaigns in terms of advert campaigns so that the visibility increases and you will get some conversions happening immediately analytics tracking reporting continuous improvement when you have this online assets what you need to do is you need to track the kind of traffic that is coming to your website the engagement that are happening the interaction with the customers on social media platforms and what is actually the point that people are talking about your product and what is actually the conversion that is happening if the conversion is happening less than why the conversions are happening the tracking continuous improvement and reporting are extremely important point related to your online assets so these are the first and foremost points that you need to do as far as building your b2 business is concerned the marketing of well-defined strategy what could be a well-defined strategy of your business brand messaging when you have online assets you can also do the offline marketing in terms of the brochures in terms of billboards in terms of actually flyers and in terms of actually reaching out to a lot of people offline and interacting with them and communicating with them you can also do a lot of search engine optimization you can also do an online deputation management you can do a lot of viral marketing and affiliate marketing so that the brand message is spread across multiple channels this is a key point so that the message is conveyed out there in the market that so and so business is existing and these are the products that they want to sell 
competitive analysis when you do a lot of competitive analysis you will exactly know what what is the position that is you hold in the out there in the market and who are your competitors how old they are what is actually the penetration level of their business out there in the market you will come to know of all these factors when you do a lot of competitive analysis this is an extremely important point digital strategy you need to build a robust comprehensive digital marketing strategy in terms of increasing the visibility of your products and services and solutions when you talk about digital strategy you can think of search engine optimization you can do search engine marketing of course adwords campaign then you do a lot of social media optimization and marketing you need to do viral marketing content marketing affiliate marketing or video marketing these are some of the digital marketing channels available for you so that you can leverage them and build a comprehensive digital marketing strategy for increased visibility of your products and solutions and of course of your business measurement and analysis the measurement and analysis of all your marketing campaigns whether it is offline marketing campaigns whether it is online marketing campaign you need to do a lot of measurement and analysis in terms of the kind of traffic that is being generated and the kind of conversion they are happening if the conversions are not happening why conversions are not happening if there is a high increase of bounce rate why the bounce rate is happening why actually the leads are not being converted into customers why you are not able to acquire customer more customers if the conversions are happening really then how you can improve those conversions these are all the factors that are related with the measurement and analysis and tracking of analytics so this is basically a well defined strategy that you can think of implementing as far as your b2 business is concerned business content format what is actually the different levels of content that you can think of implementing videos videos play a very important role people love watching videos instead of reading more of content which is text based a videos actually interacts and engages with your prospective customers have videos in terms of your product videos in terms of product demo videos in terms of your past clients or a testimonials the way your clients are talking more about you the kind of services that you are offering testimonials credentials videos product videos demo videos the videos play a very very important role in connecting with the prospective customers articles and blogs articles across multiple blogs articles on your website blogs the more the articles the more the visibility the more the visibility the content marketing really works content marketing is everything we talk a lot of search engine optimization we talk a lot of campaigns but everything actually boils down to the content marketing the content that you are disseminating across multiple channels it could be on the website it could be on the landing pages it could be on blogs or it could be on social media the content that you market the content that you disseminate across multiple platforms plays a very important role in increasing the visibility and building a brand for your company case studies when you actually interact and communicate with the new clients new leads the case studies play a very important role for example if a company approaches me and tells me that i want to offer these products to you i'll first look into who are their customers whom they have served who are their past what is their past performance when i look into the case studies of those business then i will get a lot of confidence okay look these guys have really done some wonderful and excellent work in the past and they can be of some help to me that thought actually plays a very important role in me connecting with that business so case studies on the website play a very important role in terms of your past performance what is the services that you offered what were the challenges how you address those challenges and what is the solution that you provided and how that solution actually helped that business case studies have play a very important role and a key part of your content marketing strategy webinars interact communicate and engage with your prospective customers with the existing customers understanding their requirements webinars are doing a lot of wonderful work as far as increase the visibility is concerned events you can hold events 
it could be events can be online events can be offline the event that you hold actually demonstrating your products plays a very important role email marketing is again a huge huge area which can be leveraged to reach out to the prospective customers to reach out to the existing customers so that you can the more the interaction happens the more you will be able to communicate with your customers and the more leads that can be generated infographics a step by step process instead of writing an article of 2000 words or 2500 words that is the kind of length the articles are being written today a infographic of one page which clearly defines a step by step process in terms of graphical representation infographics is a key element of the content that is being spread across in these days so these are some of the areas that you can focus of as far as your content formatting is concerned customer acquisition goals what are the step by step process how you can actually acquire customers identify the market where is the market located for your products for your services and for your solutions in terms of demography in terms of geography identification of the market is the first step that you can think of then when so you identify the market you need to formulate the content in terms of nurturing leads the content as we discussed in the previous slide the content can be videos articles blogs infographics events a lot of email marketing that is actually the content that you need to formulate then the omni channel what basically omni channel means basically it is a two pronged attack in terms of offline marketing and online marketing and both have to be juxtaposed together to actually drive through a hard hitting campaign then of course the data analytics all that marketing campaign that you execute and implement that has to be tracked measured and reported tracked in terms of the kind of leads you are generating in terms of conversion that are happening what is the percent of the conversion why the conversions are less in the previous month why the conversion rate not happening this month so that you can go on doing a lot of continuous improvement to drive more and more leads and customers so data analytics plays a very important role in conversion rate optimization that is the cro <coughs> then we have the customer acquisition process what is the process that actually happens when you acquire a new customer the first and foremost is the awareness the visibility when you do a lot of content marketing in terms of the videos the blogs the articles the infographics the email marketing organic campaigns paid campaigns the awareness is created when you do a lot of marketing the awareness is actually drives the traffic the traffic to your business it could be to the website or the blogs to the landing pages to the social media platform when the traffic is generated that actually ends up into getting you leads if there are say 10000 people coming to your website or a blogs or landing pages on social media every single day how many are being converted into leads the traffic versus the leads from the leads you actually go into the conversions 10000 people coming to your website or blogs every single day say about 100 people are actually converting into leads out of the 100 maybe 10 are actually becoming your conversions or customers it means you have a success rate of about 10% so then the conversions again have to be ret ret retained and retention happens the customers when conversions happen it may not necessary that each and every conversion becomes your customer some may become some may not become in terms of the kind of proposal that you send in terms of the pricing structure and all they have to be retained retention must be happening a comp customer has to be retained regularly and continuously so this is basically the process that actually happens when you actually go on driving your business and doing your marketing campaigns key elements of a marketing template when you actually have your marketing campaigns the campaign that you do across social media across blogs across email marketing on the website landing pages you have the complete marketing campaign and every time you cannot actually have a new campaign what normally people or what normally businesses do is they actually create a template of their marketing campaign and do a little bit of tweak so that you know that 
template can be repeatedly used across multiple times through a continuous period of time. So, this is basically the format that actually you can think of and the key elements of a good marketing template. Product information is the first and foremost thing. What is the product that you have got? What are the features of the product? What are the benefits of the product? If there are videos related to the products, if there are images related to the products, if there are some demos related to the products, if there are some PowerPoint presentations related to the product, all that is the content that is related with your product. That is the product information. Here yeah, the faces and the benefits, the credentials and the testimonial that actually go into the part of that, then the pricing structure, the product demo and the value. These are the key elements of your template, a marketing template. It can be used repeatedly over a continuous period of time instead of you reinventing the wheel all over again. You don't need to write content every time you want to launch a marketing campaign. Prepare a template with this information and you keep on tweaking. Say if there is a difference in price structure, you tweak the pricing structure. If you have new videos that are related with the demo, add those new videos. Then if you have new customers and credentials that you want to incorporate, add those things. Then a features and benefit that you have upgraded your product that you want to add into it, just add into it. So when you have the template, the complete information is available for you within a short period of time so that the marketing campaign can be launched immediately. So it is a good thing to have a template. Then the customer journey that we are talking about. What is basically the customer journey? It talks about the awareness, the traffic, the leads, the conversions, then the retention. That is actually the process that we discussed about. Now the process actually how it starts is the awareness stage is the online, offline and the visibility. You do a lot of online marketing, you do a lot of offline marketing, the visibility increases, then the awareness happens that is the awareness stage then you got the consideration stage where a particular company will think of considering you as a business partner there you have the demos and the credentials when a company approaches you say hey look i have seen this information related to your kind of product that you are selling right now we are interested in your products can you come down and give us a demo that is when the consideration starts you go and deliver a presentation and the showcase your credentials and that is the consideration stage. Then you have the decision stage. When the demos and credentials are presented, a proposal is presented, the decision stage is taken where related to the information of the product and the proposal. So this is actually the process how it starts where the awareness is created, where the consideration stage reaches out to give the demos, then the proposal is discussed in the final stage of your business to business partnership. Then the last mile that we are talking about, marketing efforts is equal to the traffic that you generate, traffic gets you the leads, leads are converted into customers and conversions and the business happens. This is the step by step process of the last mile. You have a lot of marketing campaign that you are executing. The result of that marketing campaign is the leads that you generate. When leads are generated, you get retention, custom conversions happening. When conversions happening, you get the business. This is the last mile of a B2B marketing campaign. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is business to business first things first. We have seen a well-defined strategy, uh, how the content has to be formulated, our format of the content, what are the customer acquisition goals, what are the customer acquisition process, the marketing template that you can think of creating, how the process of a customer journey starts and ends. Then finally, we have seen the last mile. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.